The Lagos State Magistrates Court in Yaba on Wednesday sentenced 78 persons to one month community service for violating the state government's lockdown order to limit the spread of the coronavirus. It was gathered that 37 of the violators were arrested by the police while exercising on Bagada Ex Expressway. 18 others were apprehended in the Ajegunle area of the state, while the remaining 23 persons were nabbed in the other parts of the state. The violators were arrested separately on one count of unlawful gathering before Magistrate Peter Ojo. Sentencing those who pleaded guilty, the magistrate ordered that they should be quarantined for 14 days at the Infectious Diseases Hospital in Yaba or any other medical facility designated by the State Commissioner for Health. He ordered that they should be tested twice for COVID-19 and if the result was negative, they should then serve their community service at the State Secretariat in Alausa. And with me in the studio to take a look at this development is Annie Ayeni. Good to have you this morning. Good morning, Amaka. Thank you. I'm not sure what what do you think about this uh, this arrest of those who you know as they put it they were arrested for unlawful gathering. Unlawful gathering it it depends on the form of unlawful gathering mm -hmm. and the government has already specified the type of unlawful gatherings that right. we shouldn't have and the number so, of persons and the number of persons that need to be in any one gathering. Mm -hmm. So really pushing the boundaries with the government it it takes it takes this type of things to come out in mm -hmm. the news and if they have said it's unlawful gathering it's within their authority mm -hmm. to determine what is and is not. Mm -hmm. So it's better for us to stay away away from those things that really aggravate them to kind of do these kind of things that they do. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about, uh, you know, in that report, one of uh, the interviewees mentioned that um, exercising is helping her to keep her sanity. Yes. And I mean, listening to her, I would think that it's important that people do what to help them keep their sanity, especially during this time. I'm not supporting that you go against uh, the rule that the government has put down. So uh, what do you suggest would be the best way to keep safe and sane and healthy during this time. Exercise keeps you physically fit mm -hmm. and it keeps you mentally alert. Now, with your mental alertness, then you are able to think and do a number of things that you can't do before. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. If a task takes you six hours to do in a day, when coming out fresh from exercise, you can do that in two. The reason why is because your body system is, a, is, your body system is in a frame, is in a relaxed frame mm -hmm. to comprehend properly what you need to do. And uh, I would say that from that, that ha being able to do the exercise within your environment, you mm -hmm. can exercise. Um, I'm not saying you should stay all in your house all at the time. Right. Around your house, you can, you can create a system. If you don't live in an estate, if you live in an estate, you can walk around the estate. We do mm. that in our estate. You can walk around your estate because then you will be able to see the neighbors that you don't see every day. You'll have the interactions that you don't have every day. For all you know, you could be struggling somewhere in your business and your neighbor might be an entrepreneur who has made it very well, but you have found it difficult to see the person. Right. That would be your opportunity. Go, go around your own environment. What and what can you see within your own environment? Mm -hmm. And it's also a very good time to really work on your mind. Mm. Because a lot of things we hear that it's not what happens to you, it's how you respond to it. Agreed. How you respond to it, this is a time to analyze your own response to situations. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Have you been doing something that is good? Then make it better. Mm -hmm. Have you been told that what you are doing is better? Then make it the best. Mm -hmm. So by the time all this is over, you come out on a new scale. Mm -hmm. uh, decision making is very powerful. Decision making is the power, is the, your will that actually works in you. Mm -hmm. That is your will that says, I am not going to do it and nobody can force you. That is a power of decision making. When you make up your mind that this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to do everything that will take me to get to that end. That is a power of your own decision making. And this is a time to actually reflect and work on that aspect that can help improve you for the future. And let's talk about uh, post COVID-19. Yes. Um, obviously, so many of us would agree on that, that after COVID-19 is going to be a different world, so to speak. Um, what do you, would you suggest uh, would be the proactive measures that everyone should begin to, th to take? Because even as it is, we, we don't know where we are headed post COVID-19. 
Well, there a number of things are coming out on social media now where people are using this as opportunity to improve their business, they're using it as opportunities to sell their business. One of the things that I will that will be very good for anyone, for anybody to take seriously right now is your power of creativity. Mm -hmm. Your power of creativity, which means that you can think up ideas in different ways. And in those ideas, you can try them out. This is a time to try them out because people are at home. Mm -hmm. You can then call that person that you know and say, look, I've thought, I thought on this idea. Can you help me look at it? Under normal circumstances, that person will not have the time. Mm -hmm. But because that person is at home now, he says, okay, no problem. Send it to me. Let's work on it together. I mean, that is a wow for anybody who That's is trying right. out a new idea. Mm -hmm. Work out on your power of creativity. Whatever you have, if you have an organization, you have a business, and your business is doing very, very well. How far is your business doing well? Is it doing well in Bagada? Is it doing well in the whole of Lagos? If you're doing well in Lagos, what is your model of doing business? Improve on your model, strengthen your model, so that next time, after COVID-19, you can express your business at Ibado. Mm -hmm. You can express your business in Abuja. Because now, you have the strength and the support structure of this time, mm -hmm. and also what your business provides to take it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to me, because as I listen to you, the, uh, Indeed, there are some positives to the side, and uh, but you know it's it's easy to get into the negative as opposed to the the positive. And that's what do we do to constantly keep our minds, you know, our, our, our emotion or our well-being in that state of being positive, in spite of all that is surrounding us. There's COVID-19 to think about. There is also the lockdown. Of course, there are so many other things happening for people. The financial stress. What? How do you you know come to that place where you have that? That's inner strength to be able to remain positive. It's very important that, you know, in life, as we grow up, we have boundaries. Your parents tell you, don't go here, don't go there, don't go this far, don't go that far. The mind is a battleground, mm -hmm. whether, whether emotionally or every otherwise. The mind is a battleground because there are wills that are, com that are conflicting in your mind. You want to do this, you want to do that, you don't want to do this. It's time to know that you need to create boundaries for your mind, mm -hmm. boundaries for your thoughts, boundaries for what comes up in your mind. Now, a thought can come to you that, oh no, I'm feeling sleepy right now. You're not going to give in to that thought, thought at the moment because you know what you're doing. That is the power of your control of your mind. Then take it to the other level of the fact that, okay, this time, within these five hours, this is what I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. You discipline your mind. And that is something that you do by yourself. That's something that you could do. And you can start it with little, little things. Like, for example, I wake up at five, five to six, this is what I do, this is what I do. It's from very, very little things to discipline the mind, give your mind boundaries, do those things that actually give positive information into your mind and affirm yourself. Thank you so very much, Annie, Thank for bringing a, you know, different perspective to the reality that we've got now. Thank you.